All I saw was the hailstones and the rain. It looked like cannonballs hitting in the water. Carl Yerian worked for Ohio Bell in the spring of 1974. He was responsible for restoring telephone service, disrupted by an F5 tornado that leveled half of the town of Xenia, killing 33 persons. It was bad. It looked sort of like a war zone. Something Carl, now 91, knew from his experience having flown 51 B-24 bombing missions in Europe during World War II. I got a direct hit in the left wing. Carl put his Air Force weather training to good use, desperately searching for a landing site through solid overcast over the Mediterranean. He survived the descent and then reconfigured an abandoned B-24 in Corsica, Italy. I was a telephone cable splicer, so I got all the electrical wires. I traced them out and spliced them together. I flew back at night. Nobody flew at night. There was discussion about court martial me for flying an unsafe airplane. So they sent the maintenance officer over the next day to check it out, and he said, Everything was fine. We did an outstanding job, so they gave me the Distinguished Flying Cross. Carl's wife, Mary Alice, is still amazed by his energy. He has always been extremely healthy, and he's a workaholic. And even his doctor thought he was never going to be ill. But now he has terminal liver cancer. But the time we have, we plan to use this to the best advantage we can. Despite the grim diagnosis, what did Mary Alice and Carl do for his 90th birthday? He and my mom last summer went to Costa Rica. They were zip lining. <laughs> so my dad's an amazing man. Carl showed me his photographs, battlefield honors, and memories from the 376th Bomber Group, a diminishing fraternity 70 years after the Allied invasion of southern France. And they think Grandpa is just the most wonderful person in the whole wide world. And they're right. My dad's taught me the, the importance of being a stand-up person, of meeting your responsibilities, and of doing the right thing. He fought for our country. He's lived a great life, and I admire that very much about my father. Ben Galbert, NBC4, Columbus.